Hello and welcome to my next how-to video. Today we're actually taking a look at horses. Uh, taking a look and see what's needed for them, how do you actually farm them, what do you feed them, and so on and so forth. And one question is, can you actually breed them? Now the horses are a new addition to this year's farming simulator. They're a definitely a new dynamic to the game. Uh, this is one animal now you can actually take out and ride around the place. And you can take it wherever you want to go. Now the first thing I want to show here is the fact that horses are, can be trained up. And as they get trained up they get more value. So if we just go here to the animal screen we can see here that I own actually four horses. So Lana, Flair, Zeppelin and Harley. Now each of the horses have their own value. So this Lana's 2976, 2976, 2878 and 2690. Um, so the horses are bought in the shop. So if you go to the shop here I'll show you. So the shop for the horses are here at the animal breeder in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the map. So if we visit the animal dealer here, you'll see I've already a jeep parked here. But if you press or while standing in this box, you can actually ask for your horse to be delivered. So we'll say horse paddock two or large horse paddock. Press start, and you can see that each horse is worth five thousand to buy. Now currently I have, I've actually added one, have I? Move back in. So my two horses at the moment are worth 3,000 apiece. Now with the horses, there you can gain in value. So as you buy a house horse for 5,000, you can gain the value. Now you can either get them delivered. Like you see here, I have actually bought myself a pickup and trailer. This is the only trailer that can be transported. It can't be transported in any other trailer. So press R again. You can see here we can bring pigs or whatever in this. But then we have our horses here. So what we'll do here is we'll just take a we'll get one. And press confirm. So now that you see we go around the back here. You can see we have a horse in the trailer. Now the horse cannot be taken out of the trailer yourselves. Uh, I've tried, if you'll open up here, you're still in the open horse dialogue. I'll pull out of the box. Even with the tail lift still down. It's very good for the tail lift, isn't it? <laughs> that you can't interact with the horse while it's in a trailer. Now the next thing is you cannot take the horse out of the trailer either. There's only one place you can take the horse out and that's actually at a horse paddock. So I've actually set up two horse paddocks over here. I've set up both the large and the regular. Uh, one piece of advice is, you see we're coming up, choose wisely where to put it. If you look where I've placed mine, they've created two little mountains. Um, the terrain generation can be quite dramatic depending on where it is because there was a big hill here I'd advise you to survey the site first before you actually place it so anyways the only places you can actually take your horse out is in these little sections here at the end of the horse paddocks so you have one on the boat large and the small if you see over on the far side they're both the same. So this is the large paddock. So again, if I go in here, I press R, it shows what I have in the trailer here. So it's immediately down to 3000. I can move it over into the farm and press confirm. That's it, the horse is gone. I'll open up the box again. Next, you can see the horse is gone. And the horse is in the paddock. Now what I've noticed also as well is you can see here I have four horses in this paddock but if we go into the menu okay. 
I actually have only three. So it seems how it registers the horse. It registered depending on what horse paddock you put it into. So I put Zeppelin Harley into the smaller paddock to start off with. And then I actually moved the two of them over into the larger paddock. I climbed, uh, rode them over. So this is the small paddock here. Okay, you got your little uh, booth here so you can put your horses in. So it seems the game will register the horse to the actual paddock that you have unloaded into, even if you've brought it over into the next paddock. We've got three, four, that's our horses. Now with the hor with the feed in the mist, they if you notice if you move into the screen here, you can actually see that they need water, straw, oat, and hay. So they need five different products. The water and the straw. So the water again is you can see I have a water tanker over here. You can either get the water tanker, get it to a spring. Now I placed a tank up here so I'd have some water. But I if you go to the shop here, I think you can buy smaller little pallets herbicide can you? just take a look here I thought you might be able to buy water tanks of water but you can't but if we look here again in the big bag so say for example you want to buy star horses but you've got no land you can actually buy your oat big bags here for your horses you can see you got pig food as well and chicken food you got a seed big bag solid fertilizer and lime so you can actually buy the oats and some of the feed for your animals here already as you can see here as well you can actually buy the wheat and the hay as well so if you don't have any land or you don't have an, uh, any of the uh, materials yet or you want to you can actually buy the materials these materials can be buy up to stacks of eight from the shop and if you see here this is what I've bought so I just bought the trailer the tractor and actually all the materials here first and if we run over here you can actually see that I have purchased the oats also now the oats can be and a lot of this stuff can be collected from farming already if you want to feed the animals that way now the other thing is for your straw your straw needs to be shredded so there's different ways to have your straw shredded if we come in here to animals so there's your water tanker this is your feeders for your 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 cows and your other animals now these three here are small shredders these are actually as far as I know attachments on for skid steers and uh, front loaders or yeah telehandlers I have looked at and this I bought this one here and it wouldn't fit to the front of my Massey Ferguson and this is the one I bought here as well this is the shredder that we have at the moment now the only problem is to set up your horses including your horse pa paddock so if we check out paddocks here so animal pens is your thing so your horse paddock so the small one is 50,000 and the large one is 95 so it can be an expensive <coughs> to start off on it so you'd have to potentially buy some land where to put it and then buy all the materials now that's the thing about horses is it is when you look at it straight away it doesn't bring a return on your investment straight away what brings a return on your investment is training horses take a look Um, I have a horse actually in the training ground so what I'll do is I'll get on this horse here to take show you if you see in the top left hand corner <coughs> there's the commands to forwards stop and backwards now with the horses you can actually go faster so you can gallop and even we can go as far as jumping so you can move your horse about just by jumping into the paddock jump it on the back and take it off. Uh, go over here. It's, 
think I left the horse over here. Um, I'm not sure if you just abandon it in the middle of a map, will it stay there or will it return? That's what I'm going to take a look at now because I left this horse over here in this arena. Yeah, it's still here. So it looks like it'll stay in the arena here. And what I'll do is I'll bring this horse in and then I'll show you the other one. So come off this horse. Now if you look, if we look in here at our little menu of horses, the horse that's in front of me is Harley. So she has had 99% of her daily riding. So we're going to see now with regards um, what changes uh, when she goes to 100%. You can see I've actually spent some time on the horse today. That's why her her level here has dropped. So we have to see how, how she gets on. So E, stay there. Now so at the moment she's worth, she's 297, she's 5%. It's only at 99%. See if it changes. I'm actually going to bring her back to the other one. And then we'll check out how far she is then. You can explore every section of the map with the horse. Now, so horses need a 10 minutes a day. Not in-game minutes. Actual real-time minutes to fulfill its daily riding uh, percentage. So we'll go back to stop. Oop. Let's see, so she's at 100%. Harley hasn't changed. Um, from what I've heard is if you uh, give it a daily riding every single day, you can after I think it's 10 days you can actually sell the horse for up to 50 grand a horse. So depending on how much you've done with it, you can sell it on. So that's where the money is made in horses. Is actually uh, riding each horse daily, but again it takes 10 real time minutes, not in game minutes, to actually fulfill its daily uh, riding quota. So you would have to do that on a daily basis and then uh, sell the horse on. So as you can see it does take an initial investment from the very start to get it up and running. But I think if it's something that it will, for long term it would be sustainable. If you bought the small, had a small paddock, bought maybe two horses, maybe three horses, had the equipment to actually um, sustain them, you could within if you had two horses, so if you that'd be a hundred grand you could make sell your two horses for. So there'd be a profit of ninety grand after ten days. So every ten days you'd have ninety grand from your paddock. Unless you had you filled your horse paddock and rode each of them every day. Because I'm not sure I think it's four or eight. I think it's eight. Is it ten? For the small paddock? I'm not a hundred percent sure. I haven't actually tried to fulfill it yet. Um, so you could potentially uh, make a couple of hundred thousand every ten days from your horses. But again, it is there is an initial investment that gets you start off. Uh, you have this side here is where your water goes on both paddocks, and then this side here is where your food goes, both your oats and your hay. So that, in that case then, you can, as I say, if you buy everything you need, you should get your investment back within 10 days, if you fill the paddock. Now again, it's 95 grand for the larger paddock. This is the smaller one here. You can see this is where your wheat is. Um, it should, potentially, it's able to bring you money back. But again, over a longer period. So there has to be real-time days, real-time minutes every day uh, to ride your horse. I hope that helps some of you uh, get up and started. I think it's something that I will give a go on one of my maps. 
uh, it's something that is sustainable to get you started off uh, it's just a case of how much you use uh, to get that again because you have to if you don't have any land you have to buy all your bales you have to buy all your oats and your barley or your oats and your hay so um, well that's it for this video again I hope it helps somebody get where they want to go um, if you like what you see hit that like button if you want to see more don't forget to hit that subscribe and uh, we'll see you later and have fun. Slán!